just a quick rundown of a TMX running Field IQ on the Precision IQ app. This is as if you've already set up on a Rogue Gator 700 and the material's all set up. If you get into the tractor and you're ready to go and everything else is ready, then this would be the typical process is you just start up the PIQ app and let that load. Um, these are the different blocks. You just make sure that you're set on the right one. Your satellite should stay the same, whatever it was before. In this case, we're doing RTK on a radio. These are check marks. You'll also see that there's one more down there that's internet. That'll go away when the internet's not connected. You can connect to a hotspot in order to do a like a remote session if you need help. This is your vehicle. That should stay the same. Your implement should stay the same unless you're spraying on a different pattern. Uh, for example, if you're using fence rows versus if you decide to go without them, you can set them up as two different implements. Your material will change. You can save different materials rather than rechanging the same one. And you would just go in there and you would either edit or make a new one. In this case, I just made a test because that's all I'm trying to do is test it and just spray out the water. Your field here is going to be your client farm and field. I set it up as a test field and I did not assign a client or a farm name to it, but that's where you would go to change it to keep track of all that. Your task is the same as what they used to call the event. So in this case, it's just spraying and I started spraying in this field. So when I hit start to go in and open that field, it'll have some coverage on it. So in order to get this going, You'll have your switches here. You just leave those sections on unless you're manually turning them on, but I, I'm turning them on or off. I would leave them on and then turn your master switch on uh, from the joystick there. This one's your master switch box. The middle position is on, so I'll leave that off. You also have a, a foot pedal there that you can turn it on and off with, and that'll be for your hands-free operation. So once you're in here, you can kind of see the screen. You've got an indicator here for the steering wheel. That's for your autopilot, so just the steering. This one's for your field IQ, so if your booms are ready to spray or not. In this case, I'm gonna be using the auto because I want it to turn my sections on and off. For example there, it turned my sections off as I came into those point rows. In this case, it was turning them on. So I'm gonna go on to this line. The highlighted red line is the one I wanna to steer to. So I am going to go ahead and get rolling on my gear and I'm going to start rolling forward so that I can get that steering wheel to go. So one thing to notice, if you try to engage right now, it says manual override, what you can do is just move the steering wheel a little so that it recognizes that the steering wheel is ready to go. You can also hit the OEM foot pedal that used to do the steering and that will also lock it on. I also want to get this going, so I'm going to make sure I turn my master switch on, and it's ready to go. It says minimum override because I'm not going fast enough there at the top left. I need to be going at least one mile an hour. End of row approaching is just set the, to that distance. I think it's like 300 feet. That can be adjusted later. But you'll see without me turning anything else on, it starts, well, it should start running the pump. But what I forgot is this. So I'll slow down, clear the message because it says low flow. Tap this to expand it. Give it a second to load. This is your arm pump. You need to make sure and hit that so it's on. So it kicked off the field IQ, so we're going to turn it off, back on to refresh it. So now you're going to see in a minute, once I get going fast enough, that pump will start running. starts doing coverage. So here you can watch your actual rate versus your target rate, which you can adjust from the screen, or you can adjust it with the rate switch down here. Right now, uh, I've got my first and second rate switches. So I can switch between those two if you watch the target rate. It goes from 18 to 15. 